This is your big moment. Come on. <laughs> there we go. Sit. <laughs> Sit. <laughs> Good girl. <laughs> you silly little monkey. Hi, welcome to Angel's and Eating Show. And today, I'm bringing you a Q&A with my latest addition to the family, Panda. Say hi, Panda. Say hi, Panda. Hello. Oh, don't fall. There you go. So this is Panda. You good? Some people knew that we were getting a dog, but for the most part, we kept it kind of quiet. But now that she's here, everyone's asking about her, so I thought, why don't we do a Q&A? Plus, what gets better video views than a uh, Q&A with a cute dog? She's a five-year-old, full-blooded um, Australian cattle dog, otherwise known as a blue healer. Fun fact, the reason they're called blue healers is because when they were used as cattle dogs to herd the cattle, they would nip at their heels. She is a rescue. She's originally from Oregon, where she, Portland, Oregon, where she was a breeder dog. So basically they just, she's only five. So in her five years of being alive, they like pumped her with babies like a million times. And uh, then once they were done with that, they put her up for adoption. She got brought down to this uh, adoption place in Little Rock, Arkansas. And then we found her on, on the website Pet Finder. Uh, in Manchester and they're like, oh, she's coming up from the south whenever you want her. So I guess adoption, adopting dogs from the south is like pretty common, right? Dan and I have wanted to get a dog for years. It's a huge responsibility getting a dog. So finally we're like, okay, it's happening in 2017. Maybe like three weeks ago, we're like, oh, let's just look and see what's online for dogs. And then we were just looking, oh, they're so cute. And then we saw Panda. Instantly we were like, this is our dog. You guys all know that pandas are my favorite animal. And then I thought, are people gonna think I'm taking the panda joke too far? I don't know. Whatever, fuck them. Sorry, fuck them. What else can I say? So you're you're five. You weigh probably at most 30 pounds. She's very very chill. Other blue healers are really hyper and hyphy, and she'll get like riled up if you like go to take her out or whatever. She can get like energized if people are home. But for the most part, she's really really chill almost like too chill where i'm like are you happy are you sad are you depressed who knows i feel like her whole life she's just been surrounded by tons of dogs and maybe she just like is wants to just chill honestly we haven't heard her bark once also she doesn't know how to play like we have toys for her she doesn't even know to like fetch a ball she's just not into it so she gets like all excited and then it's like she doesn't know what to do with her excitement she's used to a doggy door so for the first morning she like pissed and shit everywhere but then um since yesterday she hasn't really had any accidents she caught on pretty quick that if she went outside to pee she would get a treat so it's just a matter of like staying diligent like keep her on a schedule for now but she's doing really good i gave her a bath she like totally tolerated the bath so far she strikes me as a very very sweet sweet dog she's a little shy She's very friendly and loving. She is a little insecure. She doesn't have that much confidence, I don't think. She's a little timid, a little skitterish. Of course, when you adopt a dog, usually that's just because you adopted the dog. So who knows what it'll be like in you know a few months or whatever. She seems pretty comfortable with us so far. She doesn't like the sound of a light switch, which is really random. Nothing else really bothers her too much. I don't know. Originally, including like a deposit and all the medical work and shots, etc., etc., she was gonna cost $4.25, which I feel like if you're adopting a dog, like it should be free. But I guess if they're doing giving her all like the shots and vaccinations for the month and all that stuff, whatever. And then she had to go into quarantine when she arrived, which I think is just to test the dog, make sure they don't have any weird diseases that they're bringing into the state. And that cost 100 bucks, so the total cost was gonna be 525 bucks. But then, upon Panda's examination, they found that she has a thing called cover ears. Adenomas, which is basically a chain of mammary cysts. Either you have to remove them or they'll go away once the dog gets neutered. But they didn't go away and the doctor saw that Panda had so many that it would have been a very invasive surgery so he just wanted to leave them alone because 
most likely they'll be fine, but there is a chance that they could turn into cancer. So the lady was like, if you don't want to adopt her anymore, I totally understand, no pressure, we'll keep her, yada yada. And then I thought to my dad and my family in general and how my parents would literally adopt dogs that they knew had medical issues because they knew nobody would adopt the dog and they wanted to like give it a nice life. Not to say nobody would have adopted Panda, I mean, she's adorable. And this disease could end up being totally fine. But I said, well, that seems like now we have to adopt her. Like, it just felt like another sign from the universe to get the dog because I felt like, well, she needs us. Anyway, the good news is, because she had this pre-existing condition, they gave her to us full free. You were a free dog. Free dog, free dog, you were a free dog. Nothing? Nothing? Panda, you're really being boring. You're boring the audience. So yeah, they gave her to us for free. <laughs> and now we're obsessed with her. <laughs> so who knows what will happen? Basically, she could die of cancer, but it's like, who isn't gonna die of cancer, you know? Not to be morbid, but I saw my dad die of cancer. I think I can handle my dog dying of cancer. Not like you're going to, but if you did. What else can I tell you about Panda? What can I tell you about the Panda? All I can say is that when you're a panda, you know that you're a panda. Can you like do something? Anything? Oh, you know what else about Panda? Her tongue isn't slimy, so she'll lick you, but it's like it's like a dry lick. Can you explain that to the people? Panda, tell people about your background. Tell them a little bit about where you're from. Can you tell the people why you're so hairy? Can you tell the people why you're so hairy? I'm just wondering. Are you happy to be out of those crazy places? Are you gonna be a cool dog for us this summer? Because, you know, you haven't really, you know, you, you haven't been really jogging with me that much. You know, you kind of ran away from me the first day and it seems like you liked it a little better than me. Would you like to explain that? When you're a panda, you know you're a panda. Do you have anything else that you want to tell them, Panda? Anything at all? Okay, well, thank you for watching this episode of Angel's Anything Show, Q&A with Pandiola. Go tell the people bye-bye. See? Bye-bye. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time. Goodbye. Ugh, so much hair everywhere, Pandiola. So much hair everywhere. All right, Pandiola, come on. Come on, Pandiola. Come on. Get down. Come on. Good girl.